Hello everybody and welcome to a very special video. Today we're checking out Neurodeck. My name is Johnny, if you don't know me, I cover games like these and, uh, and many others really, but today we're checking out this new game that's out on Steam. It's an interesting take on the deck building roguelite genre and it, <laughs> I guess the twist is that all the enemies are phobias and mental issues and some of the cards you have to work with are like a hug or a comfort pillow. So let's get into it and I'll talk a little bit about the game. I've been playing this offline for a bit. So let's go with the, the basic character. It's the only one I have unlocked so far. And you can choose an emotion to explore. And what that means is each emotion has a, a set of cards that you can get, right? So for now, I only have joy. Let's go with that. And this is our basic deck. We have random thoughts, which does some damage, comfort food. Gives you stamina and sanity back. We'll talk about what those are in a second. And Stress Ball gives you the rested status when you use it. And it's an item. So again, we'll break down what these things are as we play. And the game has very nice music. It's one of the things that's kind of enjoyable to play. So we get to pick what we want to fight. Let's fight a, a spider, of course. Fantastic. So straight away, uh, we'll see here we have stamina and sanity sanity think of it as, uh, as your hp and i'm going to remove my camera here so you can actually see what's going on in game so sanity is kind of our hp if this goes to zero we lose the run stamina is used on most cards as you can see this one for example costs five stamina to use we can get stamina by uh ending our turn early as you can see there as well and mind focus allows you to to draw a new card at the cost of a little bit of stamina and we have three actions per turn initially okay cool the other thing is we have two item slots and when we use an item let's say we use this item here it cost us a little bit and now it didn't actually do anything straight away we put it in our inventory and when we activate it it does the the effect that it says which is doing eight damage and giving us rested which means we're, we're gaining two sanity at the end of the of the turn. So with that, uh, let's do some damage here with our basic attack and we'll use our item as well. So straight away, lots of damage. And you do heal between encounters. So you don't have to worry about preserving your, your, uh, your HP or anything in between fights. So the comfort food is kind of the throwaway card in our deck. At least we're not entirely happy having two. So we're going to look to get rid of one of them potentially here. If you're familiar with uh, deck building games, a lot of the time, you know, less is more, right? We want a, a very thin deck with only stuff that we actually want. And here at the end, we can choose to get a new card. We could skip if we don't like any. In the in the in the thought of w what I was discussing before but we have some interesting options this one card draw is very important because you preserve your cards in between turns so let's get this one so we do some damage and, and get some draw for our deck that's gonna be nice okay so we can choose to add a card to our deck or transform your capabilities let's go here again we kind of want to get rid of one of these comfort food cards it looks like we can transform it into player gains for wrath wrath it just uh, increases the damage you deal with every attack so that's very very good and it does cost a lot right it costs 40 stamina and you discard a random card and this is an item as well so you have to place it in your inventory in order to use it let's try it out we're gonna try it it's very expensive to use. Let's try a different phobia this time. Blenophobia. Uh, we'll use anxiety to stick on you. So anxiety is like poison in this game. Think of it in, in that way. It works exactly in that way. So, uh, so let's just call it poison, I guess. So we equip this. It costs us a lot of stamina. But now we can do... Uh, we can pop that. And we're going to do four more damage per per attack basically so instead what we're gonna do is we're gonna prepare this item as well and we're gonna recover a little bit and now when this turn comes around we're gonna prepare things to do a lot of damage 
So you can see here what the enemy is doing, right? And it's going to gain some blocks. So let's see if we can deal a lot of damage before that happens. So now we have Wrath, which you can see up here. Player does four more HP damage during their turn, and it lasts three turns. We also have Anxiety, which means we lose 15 HP at the beginning of the turn. That kind of sucks. Let's, uh, let's try to deal some good damage here. We do have two uh, random thoughts as well. Actually, we can only use one. Okay, because we, we did use the item in the beginning of that. But we're looking good here. We dealt a lot of damage and we still have Wrath up. So here we go. Let's, uh, let's just do this. Not quite enough. So we're going to pop the item. Very good. Okay. And as always, we can choose to get to add a new card. Card draw is always something I'm looking for. So uh, you draw one card for every one item. You have it's very low stamina cost as well it is an action so it does cost a, a turn it, it's kind of an interesting one because we could choose to deal damage while drawing as well but this gives you potentially more card draw let's take one of these because um, it looks like for a lot of our encounters we're gonna have two items equipped which means we can double our card draw if we do it that way. Let's go to remove a card from our deck, right? We want to get rid of our comfort food. We're going to play a bit aggressive and uh, remove this safety net and allow other cards to, to cycle through quicker. And here we can unlock a card for future runs. Let's do that. Okay. So who are you? Uh, we are an entertainer. Spending time with your friends. Joy comes from. Uh, let's go idealism. So we got the stroll. Get passive. One turn. Equipping item does not use actions. Whoa. Okay, so for one turn. Equipping items does not use actions. That's very good. Very, very good. Okay. So haptophobia. Hapto locks your card and puts... It's filthy hand on you. Okay, haptophobia. Is that fear of hands? I'm learning a lot here. <laughs> this is awesome. Okay, so you lose 20 sanity, lock two cards for one turn. Locked cards can't be played. Okay, I see how it is. So card draw is pretty good initially here. Let's do this. We're going to equip this item so he can't take it away. And we're going to also draw another card with dealing some damage. Okay, so both our random thoughts are locked. That's okay. Let's go ahead and equip our Wrath card here. So, we have two actions. Let's uh, pop the Wrath and then do some damage. That also gives us the rested status, which is going to be nice. And sets up nicely the next turn, which is we just have to deal 12 damage to finish this. Right? So here we go. <gasps> Nice. That went pretty well. Okay. During this time, each card you draw gain you to rested. That's nice in conjunction with all our card draw. I do like this idea. You regain uh, 15 sanity. You regain 15 stamina. And this card fades. Now, this is really good because we have cards that cost a lot of stamina. And it's also a nice heal in general. So we're going to take that. We're not going to add a card right now. I'm happy with our deck currently. Let's improve our stats. And you know what? I'm, I'm actually looking at uh, some sanity, I think. Let's get a bit more HP. And uh, let's do it again. Let's do it again. This time we'll get some stamina. So nice and balanced. So, Squalophobia. <laughs> You gotta go for that. Fear of sharks. Looks like the shark can eat our cards. You lose 30 sanity, phobia gains 10, 10 block. And eats two cards in your hand. Okay, well let's make sure we use the cards that we, that we absolutely need. So that they don't get eaten. So we're gonna pop the, the wrath. And uh, we're also gonna use this. And let's get some card draw now. Remember... Uh, Oh, sorry, was that an item? Is that why it didn't get used? 
got a little bit confused by that, to be honest. But that's okay. Okay, so we have three actions. And we can choose to regain some stamina and sanity if we want. I think that what we want to do is pop the Wrath and deal some damage, right? So you do that, and then you go Random Thoughts. Okay. That was a good turn of damage. He gains some block. Okay. Let's do this. We're going to draw a card. And we could choose between drawing a card or dealing some extra damage. We're going to do that. We also get the the rested status added. Which is nice. So, Phobia ingests and fades previously eaten cards. Phobia gains 5 block during its turn. Phobia gains 5 rested. So we can see here we have 2 cards eaten. Okay. So... Uh, our Wrath is still up. Let's do this. And we have two actions, so we're gonna draw. Oh, didn't draw anything. Okay. Not bad damage. Our Wrath is now gone, so if we wanted to use it again, we'd need to pop it in the item. I am tempted. Oh, this is, I think, the source of my confusion. So Punching Ball actually discards one random card, which is okay. It's perfectly fine. Uh, you draw one card for every item. I think that card draw could be pretty good here. So we're, we're going to draw. Wait, why didn't we draw? Have we run out of cards? Is that what's going on? Okay. Well, here we go. We're gonna deal some damage. Actually, this is a, a tougher enemy now than what we faced. We're actually 20 sanity. It's so very low. Very low sanity. We're getting dangerously close to dying here. We do heal up a little bit. Okay, so he ingests cards, gains some block, but right now he's 14 effective HP. If we do a good amount of damage, we should be able to kill him. We should be able to kill him. So let's go for this. And this. That was actually a close call. And you can see here our current deck. It's looking good overall. Kombucha. You regain 15 sanity for your for every active item. That is not a bad idea. You gain two actions. This fades after use. I like the idea of two actions, definitely. Or a uh, player gains three rested. You regain 20 stamina and one action. This is really good. We're going to take this. Okay. So, eat a dish that will boost your next fight or remove a card from your deck. Let's do this. Our deck is pretty thin as it is. Uh, a great ratatouille eases the mind and provides you ratatouille that's a meal not just a movie <laughs> three max stamina for the next fight or ramen these tasty ramen will draw three more cards in the beginning let's go with the ramen actually let's draw a lot of cards in the beginning duplicate a card from your deck don't think we have any cards we necessarily need to duplicate so let's go with this instead and uh, give me some, some more sanity. Here we go. Uh, let's go for herpe herpetophobia this time. Herpeto is slow, but deadly. Well, let's see. Let's see. Okay. Uh, there is one mechanic we haven't discussed, which are traits. You can gain traits as well, which are like passive bonuses. And hopefully we'll, we'll get around to, to doing that. Okay. So, that's equipped. We're gonna equip our stress ball as well, and we probably wanna pop this. So it gives us one action and we regain the stamina we used. Let's draw a card. Okay, so gain 10, 10 cover. It is annoying, but not too bad. We're gonna pop Wrath. And uh, that gets discarded. It's not a big problem. We're going to start dealing good damage here. <laughs> 
20 block. And it's preparing an attack that will deal 60 sanity. 60 sanity, guys. Okay. Well, now we can just deal a lot of damage ourselves. And we should. We really have to start making a dent. All right. Below half HP. Very good. So that hurts a lot. We do have Caring Thoughts, which is a good heal. We're going to do that right now. And uh, we also have Stress Ball, which we're going to line up and prepare for, for the next turn. And let's get some, some cards, if we can. Oh, I think I'm always screwing up. That's actually an item, I think, from the looks of it. So that doesn't actually work. No, it, it is an action. Uh, cards of your discard piles are here. They can be drawn from your deck. Oh, it's because you're taking from your discard pile. And it looks like we don't have any. Is that what's going on? Okay. Anyways, let's get ready to deal some damage. So you get the Wrath lined up. 69 Sanity. Nice. 20 block once again. So it does take quite a bit to get through that. Can we afford another Wrath? And I think we can, so we're gonna line it up. Okay, let's... Uh, oh, not enough stamina. Very interesting. We ran out of stamina. Okay. Well, let's end turn and get some stamina back. Looks like we still have Wrath for two turns. Sorry, one turn. Okay. Cool. So that should be just a kill. Yeah. Nice. Okay, we're doing good so far. Comfy bed. Phobia loses 5 HP plus 1 for every rested stack. Uh, that doesn't necessarily synergize super well. Get passive. This is very good. Equipping items does not use actions. We're gonna get Stroll. Here, okay, let's get a trait. So we answer a survey and we get a trait. These are the two traits you can unlock. Resentful or merciful. We don't know necessarily what they are, but let's start the survey. One of your friends is stressed out, practically having a, pa a panic attack. You say something that gets on her nerves and she lashes out at you with unkind, unkind words. Um, well, you tell her where she can put those unkind words. <laughs> up your butt number two you have a one-off opportunity to get revenge on someone who hurts you you're never this lucky and on top of that this opportunity has dropped into your lap all ripe for the taking without costing you a penny or damaging your reputation uh you don't hesitate for a second your tormentor will get what they deserve you suffer an injustice that you have no way of correcting let's see here your rage boils within Another reason to be filled with hatred, not that there weren't already enough. That doesn't sound very reasonable. Option B would be better to suffer injustice than to commit it. You wouldn't like to be in the shoes of the one who inflicted this on you. Uh, I mean, we're gonna err on the side of B, but I'm not happy with either. You have to deal with a toxic manager. Okay. Uh, let's see who can be most toxic. Now, keep calm, keep calm. You did something morally wrong and you feel guilty. To err is human and you are human. It is brave to forgive others and just as brave to forgive oneself. Sure. We are merciful. Whenever the phobia deals you sanity damage, you gain five stamina. So we're going to equip this trait. And you can see up there, we have two more slots. All right. Add a card from your other emotions. Now, this is interesting because we get access to cards we wouldn't normally have. Periods, lose 10 sanity, create one copy of resilience. And resilience means phobia loses 20 HP. Interesting. So you pay 10 sanity for this, but it does do a lot of damage. You could also choose to regain 25 sanity and you create two copies of presence which gives you an action and phobia loses. Oh, I think I want Christmas day. There is also grumpy frown, phobia loses five HP. You add deep breath to your hand. 
Uh, how can I make that tooltip appear? Let's go with Christmas Day. Okay, next phobia, agoraphobia. Let's go for that. Pointing finger. You lose 20 sanity, lock two cards for one turn. Okay. Well, I don't think it changes the way we want to proceed here. So you uh, lock that in. I think I want to regain my stamina and get an action. And then I also want to draw... Although, uh, you draw one card for every item, okay? Why doesn't that work? That's what, what I'm missing, I think. I think it's the fact that it takes from your discard pile and we didn't have anything in there. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> Spectral Hand. Player gains one sorrow. And Sorrow means player locks one card at the end of their turn. Okay. So, well, let's try this. We use Mind Focus to get another card. We use Troll. Which means we can equip this at no cost. And then we use Christmas Present. And uh, we probably want to just end our turn. Let's get some stamina back. And in the next one, we're gonna line up the Wrath and and then just do damage. Oh god, okay, that's creepy. You lose 30 sanity is the next attack. Okay, so that's gonna hurt quite a bit. Let's do this. So, Wrath. This should draw a card as well. Okay. So about half HP, we're getting there. Staring Eyes. That stings a little bit, but it's not too bad. Player gains two sorrow. Okay, well that kind of sucks. Um, you know we should have used stroll, but we're gonna keep it instead. Let's do this, and um, let's go ahead and get an extra card for next turn. <laughs> next one is you lose forty sanity. Ooh. Okay, so now we're actually running out of stamina, which is going to be a problem. Let's do this. Recover some stamina. All right. You recover sanity. Draw cards. Let's go for this. Okay. Let's get the present cards. Oh, we don't have enough stamina. Okay. Let's recover. We're doing fine. We're gonna survive this. Okay, so wrath it up. Oh, our cards are locked, huh? We still deal a lot of damage. Okay, so we have a present lined up for next turn. I like the name of that. So this should just be a kill, right? Yeah. Nice. Okay, anything interesting for us? Regain 20 stamina and draw a card. And that is an item, actually. You could also just regain stamina. Uh, let's take the kombucha, actually. No, sorry, this is a sanity heal. We're gonna take the stamina heal. Stamina is becoming a big problem for us. And now, interestingly, we have three options. I think that unlocking a card for future runs is the best option, so let's do that. Uh, well, this time we're gonna be a, an inspirer, and we're gonna meet new people, and that heals us. During this turn, each time you draw a card, you gain rested. <laughs> Add a card to your deck. Let's go for this, actually. Oh, let's get a new trait, guys. So we can be lazy or persistent. Let's see. Uh, you set an alarm to get yourself up to work tomorrow. You give yourself five alarms. 15 minutes between getting out of the house. The last one when you're already late. Okay, let's go with that. We're going to try to get the lazy trait. 
You take a look at your body in the mirror and you tell yourself you'd want to slim down. Uh, don't. <laughs> Friday evening, snacks, brain off and streaming. Let's go. Uh, looks like there's some paperwork to be done. I'll put it there and hopefully forget about it. You have to build up that Swedish furniture yourself. You panic and call 911. And you cry. On your first turn, you get two random positive modifiers. Oh, nice. Here we go. Ooh, heliophobia. Fear of the sun, huh? Interesting. Okay. So, we're gonna do this and uh, recover our stamina. Wait. Oh, we have to actually use it to recover. Okay, I got you. Burning light. Okay. Right, that's pretty inconvenient. <laughs> but that will, will make it work, that's fine. So we can choose to regain sanity at some point. Let's pop the wrath and we're gonna just deal damage. Here we go. <laughs> Uh, all right, we're gonna have to get presents. So, my feeling is we need more damage dealing cards. That's starting to be a problem for us. We're actually struggling to cycle in enough cards to deal the damage we want to deal. So, we should have used Stroll, but we didn't. That's okay. <laughs> Snack is a good option. Assuming it was... Uh, oh, I thought it was a sanity heal. Okay, disregard. Caring thoughts. We're gonna take the, the slight heal. And the, the wrath is gone for this turn, so maybe we can line up something else. You know what? We'll take the heal and we'll get presents into our deck. Okay, interesting enemy. Ooh, these cards can only be used one per five? Oh, because it fades. Why are these cards locked? Was that something the sun did to us? Sounds weird saying that. And uh, we'll get another card here. Alright, we're doing okay, but our deck is now suffering quite a bit. We have a, a, a very strong lack of damage. Wait, why did it not do the damage? Am I going crazy, guys? Wait. Lock player's hands? What is... Am I going nuts? Does he have some kind of status that causes me to not deal damage? Okay. Don't know what's going on. We're gonna equip this. And rest. <laughs> I love the animations, it's so charming. <laughs> okay, so we could have used Stroll. I, I keep finding myself in this situation. Okay, let's do this. Wrath, present. Yeah, we have no damage dealing. <laughs> oh man. This draws. We'll take the sanity heal. And we'll equip that as well. It's a very slow fight for us. Heat flash. This thing is killing us. Quite literally. Okay. 
It's almost dead. Yes! He's done it. Okay. And select something. Phobia loses 5 HP for each item card played in this battle. Well, I like that quite a bit. You can also regain 40. Get 2 Wrath for every Mind Focus used. Let's get this okay and uh, it keeps going but uh, we have to wrap it up here for this preview we'll be more we'll be playing more of this on stream so if you want to check it out i invite you to uh join us on twitch where we'll be playing this sporadically as well as i learn and explore the game but hopefully they give you some idea of what the game is and uh, whether you want to check it out or not. So there will be a link for the Steam page and thanks for the devs for providing a code so I can check this, this out. And it's been a lot of fun for someone who's a fan of this kind of games. So that's it for me, guys. Thanks for watching. And as always, we'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.